Hello everyone, in this quick tutorial I want to show you how to make a radar for your Counter-Strike 2 map uh, and also to add uh, the Radgen install installment into it. Radgen is uh, a tool by Jim Wood and it uh, makes a uh, slightly better looking radar than uh, the one that CS2 provides because it's more like the default radars in CS2. It would be currently the replacement for his uh, GERC and it was a alternative to TAR's radar or Terry's oil radar. So first of all, you're gonna want to open the asset browser and uh, go to the hammer real world editor and open your map. Now that you're opened your map, you will need to add two entities. They are both the same name. It's called CS underscore minimap boundary. You will need to place this in two opposing corners of your map. So I'm gonna put it down. Let me then save. So CS underscore minimap underscore boundary. Place one in bottom left and the other one in top right or something like that. I've already done that so basically no need to set up anywhere anything else as you can see if i select this it is cs minimum pound boundary you don't need to add any more parameters to it it just works like that so once you have set your minimap boundaries you want to press f9 and uh, for my test i'm gonna use the fast compile make sure to take create minimap on load now i'm gonna hit build As you can see, it has generated the places where the bomb set is, but it hasn't actually loaded the map file because we need to actually add the material or rather compile it. So to do that, you go into the material editor. I'm gonna close this because I was already doing that. As you can see, if you go into Counter Global Offensive, Content, CSGO Addons, your map file, Panorama Images, Overhead Maps, it should have generated a TGA file that, that contains your radar. As you can see, I have a radar here. It looks flat because I have rendered it in fast compile. If you com full compile it, it's gonna have shadows as well. So now you're gonna go into material editor and create a new file. Uh, my best results came by using CSGO decal modulate file or shader rather. So you select your TGA file into the decal color and you're gonna hit save. And it's automatically going to name your file. You just hit save. And as you can see, we have a sphere here. You don't have to worry about this because it doesn't matter. Now, what you want to do is go back into CSGO or Counter-Strike Global Offensive folder. And this time, go into Game, CSGO Addons, uh, your map file. And then go into Panorama, Images, Overhead Maps. There are two compiled textures here, or compiled materials. One is vmatc and the other is vtextc. You can see that there is a bunch of uh, random letters here that you will need to actually remove in order for it to work. So delete everything between tga and the dot vtextc. Now try to run your map again. Just do map underscore workshop and your map name. You might need to load it a couple of times for it to set in. One thing you might also want to try is completely closing your game. So I'm gonna save the map and close basically everything. And we're gonna load the CSGO again. I'm gonna load the workshop tools. We're gonna launch it. And there you go, you can see it has loaded map, so you might need to try to run the game again. To install the Radgen Radar Generator, first of all make sure your game is closed. Now go into the Radgen releases on Jim Wood's Discord, I will have that linked in the description. And download the latest version. Uh, since I've already done that, 
I'm going to demonstrate just how to install it. I have it on my uh, downloads. So what you want to do is copy these two files and go into Counter-Strike Global Offensive and just paste. Since I've already got it installed, I'm just going to press X. But that's basically the installation. And now if we load the workshop tools, to make sure that you have installed it, be sure to check that you have the Radgen entities available. So you just add a object to your map and type in Radgen. If you have Radgen ceiling, Radgen config, Radgen divider, Radgen floor, in Radgen info overlay, that means you have successfully installed it and you can follow through. So in order to use Radgen, Jimwood has actually already uh, provided some information on his Discord and Radgen setup info. Uh, basically, if you want to make the layout, you want to use the Radgen path as a selection tool. Uh, sorry, selection set. Selection sets are basically like uh, this uh, parts in Hammer 1. So, uh, or rather like you would have cordon bounds to select like you can only select Rajan path uh, like that this is uh, the path that you use you can also select just the overlap Rajan is everything that is uh, not the part of radar Rajan cover is basically the map cover Rajan remove is uh, the entities or rather mesh that you want to use to separate uh, parts of visible uh, radar. Uh, so you want to use it on parts that might create problems that show up that shouldn't. And Rajan Danger should be bomb sites and uh, hostage zones and stuff like that. All of that can be configured by you. Uh, it's up to you to make that. Uh, and to make changes to the how how the radar actually looks you need to use tar, uh, the Rajin config here you can change the game mode types from standard to danger zone i don't believe danger zone works right now so you just use standard danger zone uses also you shouldn't use right now uh this is if you're using a different path than your default for radars if you want to export to somewhere else Multi-level, if you have uh, split your map like Nuke or some other map with multiple radars. And other changes you might just realize. Now, use model vertices right now. I don't believe it works. That would make a model like this show up in game. Uh, and I don't believe bounding boxes work either. So you might need to actually use brushwork like I have used uh, over here. I used uh, skip brushes in order to make Rajin cover because it doesn't actually compile anything. So just use that as uh, your cover right now if you're using any mesh, uh, pardon me, if you're using any cover as uh, props. And if you have uh, only mesh cover, you don't really have to worry about that. Uh, over here, you can also change your uh, size, your alpha overlap and your danger alpha so basically how translucent you want to be the overlapping part of your map as i have over here for example because this is overlap you set that up in here and you can also set the colors of your path here you can also set the cover height uh, colors and the doors ladders and other stuff you might add stroke width this is basically the pen that goes around the whole radar. I'm gonna set it to 16 just so you can see what's going on. Stroke color is just the color of that. Stroke around path, overlap, other materials. That is basically drawing around the covers and the mesh. I would select only these two probably, even though I don't think this one works quite well yet. Path materials is mostly what you're gonna look into. And these other stuff uh things over here you might want to consider but most of it is in the beginning you can also export resolution i'm going to set it to 1024 uh or actually you want might want to use 512 since that is the default uh, of csgo but of, no, of cs2 but you can also adjust it to set it to 1024 by using the command cs minimap 
scale or something i believe it's called similar i'm gonna uh overlay it on uh edit anyway to make the actual radar you want to separate your floor from the mesh as you can see i have it already separated make sure that when you're creating this that all of your faces are concave that there are no go no faces going into itself like this make sure that there's nothing like this because then it won't load that face at all uh and once you've done all of that you want to go into command prompt here you want to do cd slash d and then you want to open your Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Game, bin, radgen, radgen. You want to copy this location and paste it into the command prompt. And it should select it as the running folder now, or the working folder. And now, uh, you need to save your map and save copy as text. Uh, copy this directory and overwrite this. You wouldn't probably have it there unless you've already done this. And now I'm going to load the text file that I used. I recommend you also use a text file for this. You will have uh, quotation marks, radgen.exe, then dash g, and then your game csgo directory in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This, this is basically game CSGO over here. And then you're gonna add this, make sure this is also in quotation marks. Then do dash vmap file path. And then here you want to do, you want to paste your vmap.txt file and also put it in quotation marks. I suggest you always uh, keep this somewhere uh, saved so you can just easily boot it up in and hit enter. It will now generate the radar image. If we go into CSGO add-ons, your map, oh, content CSGO add-ons, your map name, panorama images, overhead maps, you can see it has generated radar. I'm having some issues with the uh, danger parts because it doesn't seem to work too well right now. It has some issues but the main premise of the radar is here and you can see uh that all of it is working pretty much well and now uh you will have to go into asset browser and make sure that the material editor has updated your radar photo i'm gonna load it up again just in case uh make sure it's the tga file and not png like that i'm gonna hit save and then go into your uh, game, CSGO add-ons, uh, map name, panorama, etc. Delete the old texture vtext file and uh, put in the new one and change the unique parts. And let's try it in game. You might want to have to restart the game as it again doesn't always load from the first go one more thing you can consider is if you don't get it working like this you can always go back to the old file and uh, you can just overlap the texture I'm going to uh, create the minimap from the actual hammer editor again. Alright, so I'm going to open this. And then I'm going to overlay my uh, generated uh, radar. I'm going to add a 50% opacity so I can uh, adjust the layer lines well. It tends to be around 540 if you're using 1024. 
and I'm going to move it slightly to the right. And I'm going to remove the opacity and delete the old one. All right. And then I'm going to load through the material editor again. I'm going to hit save and go to the other file again. I'm going to delete the old one and rename the new one. And I'm going to close the CSGO files and everything I have open. And we're going to load it again. There we go. As you can see, it has loaded the radar. For some reason, right now, my builds don't work uh, using the directly made uh, TJ file from Radgen. So I would suggest you also trying to use the uh, method of overlap overlapping the CSGO generated one, or rather CS2 generated one. And then you can also edit it at the same time, and you can have... Uh, working results of course you wa might want to compile the actual map so it looks nice and you want probably make the uh bomb sites look better right now i have something wrong over here as you can see i try to remove that but it doesn't really help it overall uh that's pretty much it if you want to experiment with it you can do that in your photo editing software or in substance designer they have also provided some as bizarre files i don't know how to pronounce that so you can make your custom um, textures and that's pretty much it uh i will see you in the next one